Hey team, it's Dr. George here. I wanted to talk about lockdowns and prep. During the lockdown period, um, a lot of people just aren't having sex and they have asked me the question about what other options are there for HIV prevention? Um, do I need to continue taking my daily prep? Well, I suppose the thing is, if you are having sex, then continue with your daily prep. If your sex is more intermittent, then you might want to consider PrEP on demand or intermittent PrEP is another way it's been called or 211 and I'll explain that in just a moment. If you're really not having sex at all, then there is the option of safely stopping PrEP. Um, if you're a cis gay male, that is you're a man who has sex with other men who was born as a man, you can actually safely stop taking the PrEP two days after the last episode of sex. So if you're having your daily tablet, if you've had sex, then you continue having your daily tablet for two more days and then you can safely stop taking the PrEP. Um, now if you are not a cis gay male, if you're a heterosexual male or if you're a female or if you're a person with trans experience, then you do need to continue taking the PrEP every day for 28 days as per the Australian guidelines. And that's to do with the way that the medicine settles within the body. When it comes to intermittent PrEP, this is an option that is recommended in Australia only for cis gay men. That's gay men who were born as men. Um, for all other people, the recommendation would be a single tablet taken every day. However, um, if you want to have a look at the intermittent prep option as a gay male, there are options there for you, but I want to remind you how to do it. It's two tablets of prep, two to 24 hours before you have sex, and that's the loading dose. After the loading dose, if you have had sex, then you need to take one tablet of prep every day until two days has passed since your last sexual exposure. So think rules of two. Two tablets to start, two to 24 hours before you have sex, then one tablet every day until two days has passed since your last sexual activity. Now look, I understand that it can be tricky and I've tried intermittent prep and I found there were some days that I wasn't sure if I'd taken the tablet. So thankfully, there is a really good app called Prevent R, P-R-E-V-E-N-T-R. It's available on iOS. It's also available in the, um, the Google Play Store. Um, Google Play? I don't know, but the, the Android version of it, right? Um, you can have um, this app on your phone and it will work out all the correct dosages for you. It will set alarms to remind you. So that way you can be sure that you're taking the tablets in the right way and you're taking it at the right time as well. So that's worthwhile adding to your phone Preventer app to help um, ensure that you're getting your prep the correct way. On a separate note, I just wanna re reiterate though that if you're on prep, it's really important that you, you are in control of your prep. Um, I have had one patient who has become HIV positive and that was because they were not taking their PrEP um, but they were of the belief that their sexual partner was taking PrEP and somewhere along the line it might appear that one of the, the sexual partners was HIV positive and not aware of that. <clears throat> which has led to a transmission. So yeah, it was a, it's been a bit of a tough week like that, but I, I really, really want you to just be in control. If you're taking the tablets, you know they went inside your body and you know that you're gonna get the protection that is offered by those medications. So yeah, there we go. That's um, a little prep in a nutshell there for you, the lockdown edition. Um, please also consider getting vaccinated and please also remember to wear a mask if you're in situations where you can't socially distance. Please stay safe, people. We're all in this together. Let's hopefully get through this together um, and all be intact at the end. Stay safe, team.